Well, did it start? <laughs> Look what finally came in the mail, those uh, Sega Saturn pads or whatever, so. Open this up, I ripped it. Let me pause it and take it out for a second. All right, so here's the boxes. Uh, oops, there we go. They look nice. Um, reminds me of when I was a kid. Um, I'll probably try these out, uh, I guess, on Fight Cade or something. Maybe I'll try to do some combos. Um, to be honest, I don't think I've played Fight Cade or loaded anything this entire year. So it's been a while, actually. But we'll see how this is. Um, to be honest, I'm, uh, I'm good with Sega Saturn controllers. They're my favorite kind of controller. Um, again, if people watch my videos, they know I used to play on arcade stick, but, uh, as my health got worse, I, uh, you know, I ended up having to completely play on pads. I still remember I told that story, uh, that one Evo, one of those last tournaments I went to, it was, uh, you know, me and Mike Watson in the finals at Evo for Alpha, and, uh, I remember Jason Apoc came up to me, and was like, dude, Clayton, like, what are you doing? You, you play on pad now? And I was like, dude, man, my hands are just so bad now, dude. I was like, I'm about to go have surgery, like, my body was just so fucked up, dude, so... But even saying that, I think Sega Saturn pads are pretty good. And generally speaking, I don't think, uh, I think if you can play on an arcade stick, it's better to play on an arcade stick. But uh, Sega Saturn pads are my favorite. Um, and they're very hard to get a hold of now. A lot of times, uh, all these past years, I feel like you would try to buy a uh, controller and it would say like refurbished or something. And it would just be fucking complete shit. You know what I mean? And uh, there used to be this thing called a RAFNET converter that I've showed before. Um, I did a review of that, but, uh, so you could play Sega Saturn pads, OG ones, right? And it wasn't expensive and just use that converter. But unfortunately when I got Windows 8, um, I guess five years ago, maybe or something when I got this computer, like other people, Fight K does not work correctly on my computer anymore. It always seems to lag or drop for some reason. So I kind of really don't play games. <laughs> even online, you know, I've told those stories, a lot of people used to, uh, upload my matches or whatever, and, but I just kind of stopped playing about five years ago, because I couldn't really get, uh, I can't get really anything to work on Windows 8, so that's the problem, even if these things work, dude, I still think Fight Kate is a problem on Windows 8, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do for that, oh yeah, I should take, So even if Fight Kid works, or even if these Sega Saturn controls work, uh, I don't know how to get Fight Kid to work correctly on Windows 8 anymore without it dropping shit, but whatever. Let's open up these controllers and see at least how they feel and if I can do some combos on them. So, should I put the light on? Does the light make it look better? Torch on? I don't know if it matters, but... Anyway, um, before anyone asks, no, I didn't get any of the regular Genesis ones because... I only have so much of a disposable income, and I don't get sent free shit. So, uh, no, I paid for everything myself. Let's look at an old Sega Saturn one. These are some of these old Puyo Puyo. What are that thing? Like I said, unfortunately, this is one of my last good ones, but, dude, I tried the fucking rainbow duct tape it. Like I said, people don't understand. I used to play a lot of these things I used to tape together, dude, and this was... Well, there's that one. <laughs> people don't get, like... Do people remember, like, you can't do these combos, these combos are fake? It's like, dude, half the time these controllers, dude, I was, like, taping them together, dude. So here's an example of one of my duct taped ones, and even the duct tape could not save this one. So that one died. Whatever. Yeah, some refurbished one in here. And I'm going to start having my Rathnet Sega set. I'm like, here, ooh, yeah, this is a old school Sega set one. What is this? And this actually has a RAFNET converter on it, right? So the RAFNET converter used to be pretty good, dude, but it just doesn't work for some reason correctly on Windows 8, but... Okay, so let me... Oh, look at that beautiful... Look at this camera setup, dude. Anyway. I'm trying to make it ASMR, like, feel the clicky sounds. Wait a second, dude. Let me set this down for a second. I did hear people say that and... Can I hear it? Yeah, that's... 
That is an extreme difference. That is an extreme difference. Extreme difference. So indeed, the trigger buttons or whatever, they are different, if that matters to you. As long as they work, they work, but if you like that ASMR sound of someone sucking your dick or clicking on you, like, you're not going to get it with these, apparently, because that is different. But... It's certainly... Well, you can't see when I was holding it, like... It certainly feels sturdy. Right? Yeah, can you hear the difference? That is a big difference, but and then buttons if you like ASMR again. That seems the same to me. That seems fine, dude. Looser, but I mean, this is... These are pretty fucking old. Or this one's still pretty hard. This one's still pretty hard, but this was a good controller before uh, the duct tape wouldn't save it anymore. Or, uh, well, I don't know if I'll say it was good. Not as good as an OG one, because this one is definitely yeah, looser. Okay, dude, I'm going to try to figure out how to get these to work, and you guys can see me play. That's probably really uninteresting, but uh, let's see if I can get these to work. So there's the thing I'm talking about. What am I get to the real? Just pause it right there. Can I pause it? Can I pause it on this thing? Okay. So playing with the controllers for a little bit, dude. Here's the fucking problem, dude. Okay, besides the fact that uh, these are stiff and they don't make a noise. Whatever, dude, but um, you know, for the most part, though, I mean, considering being, like, you can't really get Sega Saturn pads anymore, you know what I mean? And I've talked before when I've tried to get Sega Saturn pads, and they'll say it's, like, fucking refurbished, and you pay, like, a hundred bucks, dude, and it's, uh, you know, like a piece of shit, basically, right? You know, so, um, and I said before, I got the RafNet converter, and the RafNet converter worked well until I got a new computer, right? And uh, so they, I'm skipping ahead. So again, the controller itself, I mean, they're 20 bucks, dude, or 24 bucks or something like that. I mean, I'm going to give them a good, maybe great with an asterisk mark, right? Because pad seems fine. I don't really, the trigger buttons don't bother me because I don't really use the trigger buttons per se for things because I've never been a, a button mappy kind of person, right? 
So, uh, you know what I mean? I can't, uh, it's hard for me to think of what would be the most complicated combo I would do on a Sega Saturn pad because, again, I've showed on my stream me doing humanly impossible combos on a PS pad, right? So anyway, the pad itself, it seems fine. Trigger buttons don't seem to work that well, but as someone who doesn't button math, I guess it doesn't bother me. But, you know, the pad and everything, it seems fine. But I want to say it seems like a good controller that asterisk mark because what I just paused it at, the whole fucking reason, dude, that I stopped playing online is because Fightcade on my fucking computer drops. Like you just saw there, dude. Just did a kick, and then he did absolutely nothing. I was trying to do a, a DP. Fightcade, ever since I got Windows 8, five years ago, whatever, drops inputs like a motherfucker. And I played a little bit before I just recorded these things. Fightcade constantly fucking drops. Like, even when I was playing earlier, dude, I'm just doing, like, Mizuguchi's Hurricane Kick Loops. He just stops hurricane kicking and just stands there for a split second and does nothing. It is so fucking... It doesn't matter what game it is. Randomly, Fight K just fucking drops everything and does not register anything ever since I got Windows 8. It doesn't matter, like, what controller I use, dude, and I don't know why. I was hoping these controllers would be different, but no. It's like... So that's why I gotta say with an asterisk mark, because... Who knows? Because Fight K, GGPO, whatever, is just such a fucking piece of shit on Windows 8, dude. It's like... It's like the whole reason why I stopped randomly playing online because, again, dude, like, people have seen me, dude. I was doing versus the Japanese with ping, doing combos that people said were not, like, humanly possible combos at the time, right? With 200 ping and all this kind of shit, dude, demolishing people, doing all these combo video combos on Windows Vista or whatever it was before I got Windows 8. And ever since I got Windows 8 and this new computer five years ago, Fight K just doesn't fucking work properly, dude. And I can't, I've never been able to figure out a setting to make it work correctly. Um, I can't, uh, I've asked other people too. And other people said it's been since Windows 7. And I think man, Mikey Crackcron just said it still fucking sucks with Windows 10. So I haven't played in any of those. I can only speak for Windows 8. But I know I've posted about it before and asked for people and everyone has told me there's just nothing you can do. It just doesn't work correctly for some reason. So I don't know what to tell you guys, dude. Um, I'm giving them a thumbs up, though, with an asterisk mark because I don't think it's the controller. I think it's just Fight Kid just doesn't work correctly on these newer systems. And that's what, if I was going to play a video game, an old school game online, that's what I play. And there's just nothing you can do. It's just randomly going to eat your inputs. And there's just... I have not been able to find a setting to make it work. So anyway, I'm giving them a thumbs up, though, with an asterisk mark. They're super cheap. You know what I mean? So I'm, uh, again, with an asterisk mark, dude. I approve of them. Unfortunately, they do not work for a PS4, so I'm going to have to wait for those. Uh, I guess they're coming out with, like, a Bluetooth controller, whenever those Bluetooth controllers come out. So check those out whenever they do. Um, I'll get those, you know what I mean? I'll probably have to pay for it because no one's sending me free shit to check, but I'm interested in seeing how that is. Um, I know someone was saying, well, try it on your PS3 or something like that. Well, that's what I told you guys. You guys don't remember. I don't have a PS3. When I used to make all these crazy combo videos, I would just borrow it. So I can't put in Marvel 3 and do those. I probably couldn't even do them anymore anyway because it's just been so long. I'd have to watch my videos to even remember what they were, but... I probably couldn't do them anyway, but I don't have a PS3 to try them and see what the lag or if it's like dropping anything with any like other game on like a PS3 because I don't have it. Then I gave it back to my brother. Like I said, I don't really own a lot of video game stuff. I just, a lot of times when I make videos, I just borrow stuff to do it. So anyway, hopefully that was useful. You saw I can still do combos as long as it's not like dropping. Like you just saw there, I just tried to do fucking i did jump in hurricane kick i tried to do light light dragon punch and it just did it nothing came out period dude it didn't even give me like a it didn't even give me like a chain combo like it you know you can chain combo it didn't even give me a hard like that dude it just gave me a, a kick nothing because it just fucking drops your inputs randomly on fight kate i don't know what to say dude it's so fucking annoying man but that's life what are you gonna do dude you know anyway that's my review of the RetroBit Sega Saturn controller. And